just want to move on to uh, um, what I call it that uh, to a more uh, uh, more of a local issue. Yep. I mean, you've been here for for what I call it for three months, and you have been actually even before this, you have been coming to uh, Penang quite a bit. Okay, that, and of course, you have known from the airport down to the city, the traffic continues to be a number one issue among Penangites. Uh, they must have spoken to you about this. Uh, what are the answers to them? I think are, it's not only these issues. Uh, there are three main issues. So I call the three C's. Mm -hmm. That I think is uh, affecting Penang, Penang Island, and also parts of uh, the main three C's are basically congestion that you mentioned, terrible congestion, cleanliness, and crime. Okay. Uh, we are determined to find ways to resolve these three C's problem. Mm -hmm. Crime. Uh, the CPO has told me that some of the measures. Of course, I'm still happy that crime has actually dropped by. 2% for the first 5 months of the year mm -hmm. and uh, Penang is placed number 10 which is quite a credible performance but much more heartwarming is that 52% of the crimes are now resolved that means we are the top performer in the country is in terms of resolving crime but uh, I don't find that that sufficient I mm -hmm. think we should have a safe Penang city concept mm -hmm. safe Penang S-A-F-E, yeah. not S-A-V-E, <laughs> S-A-F-E, safe yeah. Penang. Yeah. And for a safe Penang, I think we have to do much more. Yeah. We will be announcing what we intend to do. We have plans involved. We will be uh, announcing these plans. Okay. Uh, I mean, over the course, yeah. in the next few weeks. You know this monorail? Uh, uh, okay, talk about congestion. Yeah, okay. Okay, congestion. We have ideas about the bus services. Yeah. We are not thinking of uh, re-instituting the CAT bus, CAT bus. Of course, we apply the cap, so we have cap, cap yeah. bus, cap buses, uh, central area transport yeah. buses. Okay. Uh, so that we can at least uh, make it easily accessible around the city. But I think more importantly is that the federal government has promised to give us the monorail. Mm -hmm. So whether we like it or not, we have to at least work around this idea of a monorail. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the problem is that the federal government is rather slow in implementation. Mm. So whilst you are slow, we have to implement what what we can. Do you think that the project is in limbo because there's now a new uh, uh, Pakatan government no. in Penang? No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. If the projects are in limbo, I think uh, you're talking about land matters, you get disposed of very fast. You look, you look at the uh, local councils, we are working closely with local councils and they are strong supporters of the CAT philosophy. Okay. And you look at the investments coming in, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, like we didn't actually wanted only to invest eight hundred, yeah. and then they were actually thinking of Nilai. Mm -hmm. But yet, after meeting us, we not only managed them to convince them to choose Penang, but also sure. to increase their investment by an extra fifty percent to one point two billion. Honeywell, sure. the jewel, the crown jewel of the avionics industry, mm -hmm. chose Penang. I think we should feel proud that Penang is the investment destination of choice. And if foreign investors are confident, we hope that the local investors should also yeah. have the same confidence yeah. by investing in Penang. One of the greatest challenges facing the Penang of has been is cleanliness. Yes. And sometimes it's not really the government's fault, but it's just that like people are nurse just not putting enough effort to be clean. And hawkers yes. are one of them. Uh, so do think you think you'll be able to ride through this uh, populist thing? Because you know it's never popular to tell to, hawkers that you're not clean. Yeah, yeah. We have to raise our political capital for that. Like. You, have to, you have to do it, you have to do it. Because, when only when Penang is clean, then will the tourists come. Okay. Would, you, would you do it at the risk of being unpopular? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Because after all, I don't know whether I'll last after five years. At least let me let me do it. Like, as I said, I, I, I told you before and I said now I'm, be, I'm ready to uh, fail trying, but not, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not fail to try. Yeah.